Good evening. I'm Leland Vitter. On the program tonight, new proof President Biden believes high gas prices are worth it and really a good thing. Plus, 80% of American parents say no to COVID shots for their kids. Why cable news in the White House refused to acknowledge they might have legitimate concerns. Sleeping on airport floors is now a weekly occurrence. How airlines get away with simply getting worse. The rhino feeds on corruption and is marked by the stripes of cowardice. The newest Republican Senate ad from Missouri causes major headaches for GOPers nationwide. What's next for a party unable to control the craziest among them? But first, on point tonight, President Biden is now among the most unpopular presidents in history. This is not my opinion or Republicans' opinions or even the media's opinion. It is the American people's opinion. Gallup began tracking presidential approval in the 1930s, and Mr. Biden has now broken through the low points set by Carter and Trump at this time in their presidency. He's been below 40% for almost two weeks. It's the economy, stupid, said Clinton strategist James Carville. The raging Cajun was on to something. President Biden was at the beach today and told reporters that Americans, well, we should all just look on the bright side. My dear mother used to have an expression, if everything allows me something good will happen if you look hard enough for it. Mm -hmm. We have a chance here to make a fundamental turn toward renewable energy. That wasn't a mistake or a Bidenism. It is the Biden administration's policy. Certainly, the administration views record high gas prices as perhaps politically inconvenient. But to their credit, they continue to tell all of us what they really believe. The short-term pain that we all feel at the pump, well, it serves a greater goal. What is the grand plan to increase oil production in America? <laughs> Oh, we need more drilling of gas. We need more drilling of this. We need to go back to coal. No, we don't. We don't want to be under the thumb of petro dictators. We really want to see us move to clean energy. Remember, it's the economy, stupid. James Carville helped elect Bill Clinton with that line. Now, Hillary Clinton says Mr. Biden's progressive orthodoxy could crush Democrats. We are standing on the precipice of losing our democracy, she said, and everything that everybody else cares about then goes out the window. The most important thing is to win the next election. The alternative is so frightening that whatever does not help you win should not, in her words, be a priority. While many Americans say they are concerned about the environment and climate change and global warming, all legitimate concerns, very few are willing to go broke on the path to a green utopia. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.